Back Women's College Soccer Championship Sunday here at the University of Buffalo Stadium here in Western New York as the top seeded Bulls of Buffalo play host to the Cardinals of Ball State. Patience on the UB attack shot from some distance. Wilter can't get through, they score! And the top seeded Bulls have struck first. A lot of space to be had for Kaya Schultz. Teammate far side shot out by Zapata! Scores! And with that, the UB Bulls are your 2022 Max Soccer Champions. That's the end of the championship match. You can win the match too, Simone. Making it there last year, we know we can do it, but we have to hold ourselves to that standard again. Like, we can't just expect to make it there. My class has been to the finals a couple times, and so I think that's always a big motivator for us at the beginning of the season. We know what that feels like, and obviously we want to be on the other side of it. So just every game, taking it one game at a time is really important. Can't think too far ahead. It was really special. I mean, it was a nice day to have to show what we've dedicated to this program over the past four years and just to go out and play with all your seniors. They are a special group. They're a great group of young ladies on the field, off the field, I think in the locker room, right? Like they, they understand what success looks like and they fight hard for it. As far as just people, soccer players, athletes, students, they've done a great job and they're a complete package. I think have set a, a great kind of benchmark for every class that comes comes after them. You've built friendships with them over the past four years, so it's not only about soccer, but the people you met along the way. So I think it's a great day to celebrate all of that. Roper gets a foot to it, loose again, and it finds the back of the net. Goal, BSU, and Ball State strikes immediately. Illis with the left foot, whips it in, and a chance for Roper! Roper scores! What a ball in from Maya Millis. Goal, BSU! Plays the deep ball into the center circle, bounces, and it's loose, rolling across the line and in! And that's how your match ends. Ball State get their second win of the season, one of the great things is I think we continue to get better, which is what, what the goal is and what the goal is with the non-conference. I think we've gotten better defensively. I think we've gotten better just how we're playing together, right? Like certain personalities. Outside of results, I think it's been a good non-conference. Our mentality this year is just a lot of grind, a lot of grit because nothing is really given this year. Defensively, we've been working a lot on defense, 1v1 defending, uh, so I think that's a big, big part for us. And I think that really showed in Vanderbilt, we kept them 0-0 for a really long time in the game. One of the biggest things I would say from you know, day one to now is, is we've started to get tougher and stingier defensively. We have our four core values, our grit, discipline, integrity, and family. Can we display being a family on the field, right? Can teams talk about that? Can we show discipline in the way we play, right? Can coaches say, man, that's a really disciplined group that's hard to break down. Integrity is like, who are you when no one's looking? And the grit piece, right? Can we be a tough, gritty team that can handle adversity? I think those are things that we can focus on and those, like Josh always says, those are the controllables. So even if nothing else is going well in the game, those are things that you can control. So even if you're having a bad game, the culture, like it brings together a team culture and everyone has those same values. So just relying on that, even when things aren't going your way that day is a really big piece for us. We have a smaller roster this year, which is a good thing and it has brought a lot of people to step up that haven't had to fill that role so much in years past with a big roster. This year, especially with a small roster, it does make like the team feel very special. You get to know everyone very personally and you want everyone to be successful. The other freshmen are Karina Wiseman, Audrey Goodyear, and then Kaylin Vallow. It's only four of us, so it's a super tight group. Just taking the freshmen under your wing, just talking them through, helping them out in game situations, in practice, pulling them aside after practice is really important. 
The captains are Bethany, Jordan, and me. All three of us are tight. We all trust each other and everyone has a voice and we all work hard for each other, but I just think the three of us, we make a good team. I hope we can take a chance to just kind of take a deep breath. I want us to mentally, physically be able to come back um, fresh going into the conference and again, hopefully be set up to go on a good run. Moving forward, I think we'll be confident for the MAC, and so I think we're ready to roll. When MAC play starts, it's just a different feeling. Like everything's on the line, like every single game matters. Everyone knows that, so it's definitely the vibe changes. It's like a different feel. Everything's a lot more intense. Last year, I wasn't here for the MAC championship, and this year, I want to be there, and I want to be there to experience it and experience a win. We're all working toward that like common goal of just like winning it.